Welcome back to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. Episode 6 of the final season of The Clone Wars was released on Friday, titled Deal No Deal, and I have to say I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. This episode really highlighted some differences between our homegirl Ahsoka and the Martez sisters. Ahsoka definitely has a bigger view of the galaxy, but really doesn't quite get living in the lower levels of Coruscant. The Martez sisters, on the other hand, are street smart on level 1313, but really don't understand the galaxy at large, and they all make some mistakes in this episode to prove it. The episode opens with Ahsoka and Trace working on Trace's starship, and their discussion highlights the differences between the two young women. Trace asks Ahsoka where she went to school as she seems to know so much about so many things, including fixing starships, to which Ahsoka replies that she went to Skywalker Academy topside, which I loved, and Trace mentions that she never would have gone to any academy as they can't afford it and there aren't really any academies in the lower levels of Coruscant. Trace talks about how the hangar was left to her and Rafa by their parents, that Rafa won her laundromat gambling, and that Trace uses all of her credits to buy the ship she and Ahsoka are working on and the parts to get it flying. This scene really highlighted that Trace and Rafa have to work hard to get everything they own, which is definitely different from Ahsoka's upbringing in the Jedi Order. Trace also shares with Ahsoka that she's named the ship the Silver Angel but Ahsoka doesn't seem to be as keen on the name as Trace is. I like Silver Angel, I think it's a good name. Rafa then arrives in the hangar and shares with Trace and Ahsoka that she had hired a pilot and a crew for a job that she has, but that the crew has dropped out and she now wants Trace to help her and use her ship. Trace is annoyed that Rafa didn't come to her first, but obviously caves to her older sister. We also learn that Rafa is still leery of Ahsoka and insists that she has an angle, that she's trying to get something out of Trace, while Ahsoka tells Rafa she's just trying to keep the two sisters out of trouble. The trio then prepare to head out in the Silver Angel, and I enjoyed how you see them going from the tight quarters of the lower levels of the planet to then the wide open space of Coruscant's upper level. I love this scene. Once they're getting ready to break out of Coruscant's atmosphere, we learn that Trace has little idea what she's doing as a pilot and flies into a military-only flight lane. While in the military lane, they're hailed by a Venerator-class Star Destroyer, and we hear our boy Admiral Wolf Yalaren tell them that they are not authorized to be there. Admiral Yalaren tells Trace he'll have her star pilot license for this, and apparently I wasn't the only one who didn't know you needed a pilot's license in Star Wars. As the trio are getting into the civilian transport lane, we get this awesome scene where Anakin is with Admiral Yularen and they're discussing this unauthorized ship in the military lane. Admiral Yularen is about to send a detachment to arrest them, but through the force, Anakin and Ahsoka are able to sense one another and Anakin tells Yularen to let them go. Ugh. I really enjoyed this moment and it definitely made me smile as I had no clue Anakin would be making an appearance in this episode. This is a cool callback to Return of the Jedi when Darth Vader senses Luke as he, Leia, Han, C-3PO, R2-D2, and Chewie are flying in a Lambda-class Imperial shuttle heading to the forest moon of Endor and Vader lets the ship go. Love this scene so much, guys. After they jump into hyperspace, Trace admits that this is her first time in hyperspace. She's only flown speeders and the like before, and I gotta laugh when she still had the air brakes on, which, who knew starships had air brakes? When they jump out of hyperspace, Ahsoka quickly realizes that they are on their way to Kessel, and Rafa admits that they're picking up medicine. I gotta say, I got pretty excited when I saw the familiar imagery of the Kessel run. Once in the planet's atmosphere, we see it's beautiful and green, and completely the opposite of the Kessel we saw in Solo, but the minds of Kessel are in the northern hemisphere and the trio are actually in the southern hemisphere. They are met by Kanash Lok, King Yoruba's major domo, who takes them to a banquet that has been prepared as a thank you. They soon learn that the job is to receive three crates of unrefined spice to deliver and that this will be a trial for them. If all goes well, Rafa will get a contract to transport spice on a continual basis. Ahsoka is clearly worried, however, as spice is not always made into medicine and lots of ships are attacked by pirates when leaving Kessel. Ahsoka is also afraid they're in over their heads here.
especially since Trace and Rafa don't seem to fully understand the gravity of the situation. The trio soon leave the palace and head towards the mining section of the planet. Once there, Trace is amazed at all of the droids she sees mining, but Ahsoka points out that these are actually slaves, and I thought it was really cool that we see a Zygerian slaver keeping charge of the slaves. The Zygerians were a humanoid feline species from the planet Zygeria who actually built a powerful empire by selling slaves. So I thought that was cool that we got to see them. Rafa and Trace don't believe that they're actually slaves as the Republic would shut this whole operation down, but they clearly aren't aware of the realities of the galaxy. From there, they get the spice and head out to their next location, Obadiah, when Rafa says they're delivering to Marg Krim, the Pike crime boss. Ahsoka is floored that Rafa thinks she can make a deal with the Pikes. Trace thinks that the Pikes must be like Pintu back on level 1313 in Coruscant, but Ahsoka tries to get them to understand that the Pikes will take everything, their lives, their ship, etc. As Rafa and Ahsoka argue about how to handle the situation, Trace freaks out and dumps out all of the spice into hyperspace. Homegirl, what is you doing? Now they have no spice to deliver and no money to pay for it. With no plan on how to rectify the situation, Rafa tells Trace and Ahsoka she wants to sell Trace's ship to pay for the spice. We're seeing just how naive Rafa and Trace are about the reality of the galaxy outside of level 1313 on Coruscant. We saw earlier Trace didn't know she needed a star pilot's license. They thought that the spice was going to be used to make medicine and that the Pikes, who are a galaxy-wide crime syndicate, are similar types of gangsters as Pintu, and they think that the Republic can can or will combat all of the injustices that plague the galaxy, such as slavery. They are so in over their heads. The trio soon arrive on Obadiah with a crackpot Ahsoka plan. Ahsoka mentions that she has a couple of tricks up her sleeve that she's not willing to share just yet. They meet Marg Krim, his major domo Fife, and several Pike goons who are prepared to pay for the spice but want to see it first. Ahsoka then uses a Jedi mind trick so that Marg will pay them the credits right then without seeing the spice. Rafa gets the credits and Trace, Ahsoka, and Rafa quickly get back on the Silver Angel where they then send out three empty crates. Fife is suspicious, however, and soon realizes there's no spice in these crates. He orders patrol ships to cut them off and to engage their tractor beams. The trio try to escape, but they quickly realize that they're stuck in a tractor beam and their luck has run out. And that's where the episode ends. Man, I really enjoyed this episode a lot. It was super fun. I loved seeing Ahsoka, Trace, and Rafa flying the Silver Angel away from the hangar for the first time, as well as seeing Anakin get to make an appearance. I also loved seeing the Pikes this episode as I think they're one of the coolest looking aliens in all of Star Wars. This was such a fun episode, full of wonderful shots and some great planet hopping, and it was so cool to see the Kessel Run and the beautiful part of that planet. But what did you guys think? How'd you feel about the episode as well as the scene with Anakin? Let us know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Follow Dan's On Fandoms on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr, all at Dan's On Fandoms. Thanks for watching, and stay nerdy.